the 2024 NFL season about to start up again, I'm going to be predicting all of the NFL awards that are going to be presented at the end of the season. Starting at MVP, I think that CJ Stroud is going to win MVP this year. Last year, he threw for 4,100 yards in 23 touchdowns with only five interceptions. And this is well missing two of the regular season games. He led his team to the divisional round. Now coming into his second year, I predict that he's somewhere around 4,700 yards in around 45 touchdowns. The Houston Texans just added Stephon Diggs, which is another wide receiver target for him. And added Joe Mixon at running back, who's another elusive back who's really good at receiving. Moving on to Offensive Player of the Year, I have C.D. Lamb. Yesterday, I made a video about C.D. Lamb and a couple other wide receivers who chose to sit out to get big contracts. But I think that C.D. Lamb deserves every penny that they gave him. People forget that this is only his fifth year in the NFL. Every year except for his rookie year, which he had 935 yards, he's had over 1,000 yards. And last season, he had 1,700 yards. This year with a weaker running game, they're going to be looking to him a lot, especially since Michael Gallup also just retired. Next up at Defensive Player of the Year, I'm predicting that Miles Garrett is going to go back to back. Last year, Miles Garrett had 14 sacks, which was tied for 7th. But the thing that makes him Defensive Player of the Year isn't how many sacks he gets, it's how he gets these sacks. Every single game, teams send double teams on him. In every single game, he, he gets to the quarterback. Even if he's not getting a sack, he's still getting in the quarterback's face. Let's move on to some rookie awards. At Offensive Rookie of the Year, I have Jaden Daniels. Jaden Daniels had a Heisman year last year, and a lot of people are saying that maybe Caleb Williams could win it, maybe wide receivers like Marvin Harrison or Malik Neighbors could win it, but if you look at all four of them, Jaden Daniels has by far the best situation in my opinion. Jaden Daniels is throwing a vest, Keenan Allen, and Terry McLaurin. I think Jaden Daniels is in the most comfortable position to succeed. Now moving on to Defensive Rookie of the Year, I have Dallas Turner on the Vikings. Dallas Turner came out of Alabama and had 10 sacks. Next up, we got Coach of the Year. So for Coach of the Year, I said Texans coach D'Amico Ryans. D'Amico Ryans got second in voting this year, just behind Kevin Stefanski. It actually was a tie in the amount of points, but Kevin Stefanski got the most first place votes, which made him the Coach of the Year. D'Amico Ryans is one of the big reasons why this football team just flipped the script. Last year was his first season, and you don't see a lot of rookie head coaches coming that close to being first in the Coach of the Year voting. Now, like I said earlier, adding Joe Mixon and adding Stephon Diggs, that offense is going to be a lot better, and that defense is already solid. So I think that this is his year. Finally, we have the Comeback Player of the Year. For the Comeback Player of the Year, I said Nick Chubb. I said Nick Chubb because last year Nick Chubb got hurt early and he tore his MCL and his ACL. This is the second time having the same exact injury where something almost identical happened in college at Georgia. But as we all know, he bounced back from that and became one of the best running backs in the NFL. So why can't he bounce back from this injury? I think he's gonna have a great season and I think this is gonna be the second year in a row where a Browns player is his comeback player of the year. If you agree with any of those selections, hit that like button and that subscribe button. And make sure to check out my channel for the rest of my other videos, and I'll see you next time.